friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last video on this channel for 2019. It has been quite the year. I have pumped out lots and lots of fun fashion videos. So I thought what better way to end the year than by doing a traditional, a very glam Annalise Wood haul from a cheap questionable website and that website is Shein. I have reviewed Shein in the past and it was so so. Some things were really good and I really loved them and other just didn't fit at all and were really poor quality but over Black Friday she and had some really good sales so you know I couldn't help myself and I went on and I bought quite a few items that I am really excited to share with you guys that I'm really hoping are good quality but as you guys know if they are not I will be sure to share that tea with you guys so this is the last video of the year on my channel but if you are wanting more content from me I will still be uploading on my vlog channel all throughout the last week of 2020 2019. It is called Annalise's Glam Life. So be sure to click the link down below or the card right now to subscribe to that channel. So in my hauls lately, I've also been doing sort of like outfit ideas. Instead of just showing one item, I'm buying an entire outfit from a website to show you guys. And that is continuing in this video, especially with the first item. As the first item that I wanted to show you guys today is actually an outfit as well. So I'm really excited to open this up. I think that if this is cute, this is what I'm personally going to wear on Christmas Day. So I'm really hoping it looks good. First of all, uh, these are the bottoms that I bought to wear and they are these black <laughs> tweed shorts. You guys know I am obsessed with tweed. I just think that it looks so classy and it's so effortless and easy. So these shorts were actually a part of the Shein 2019 Paris fashion show that they did. So I wanted to do a whole review from that but there just weren't really a lot of items that I loved. So instead I've sprinkled some throughout this haul and this was one of them. I just thought these were so cute. And to go with this top, because as I said, this is a Christmas outfit, I bought a red bodysuit. And of course, since it's me, it is not just a plain red bodysuit. Oh no, it is very extra. So this is what it looks like. We have the red suit with the gorgeous little flowy sleeve on the side here. So I thought that this pad with the shorts would be such an extra little Christmas outfit. But since this video will be up unfortunately too late to order from Shein, you can definitely wear this all year round. I mean it's not a Christmas exclusive outfit. It would also be great for New Year's because if you're going somewhere quite casual, this would be great because it's still very extra but quite casual. I mean the base of it is just a pair of shorts and a bodysuit. But I thought that having this little flare was just such a fun way to jazz up this bodysuit. So let's go try this outfit on and see how it fits because I mean I love how it looks in my hands. I just hope it looks as good on my body. All right, this is what the first outfit looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back and I accidentally made quite a big mistake when unboxing this. I was saying that these were a pair of shorts because Honestly, when ordering them, I thought that they were a pair of shorts, but turns out that it is a skirt and it's not Shein's fault at all. On their website, it says it's a skirt. I, I don't know. I don't know where I got the idea for shorts from, but I really thought that these were going to be a pair of shorts. But nonetheless, as a skirt, it is still super cute. And I really think this is going to be a staple piece in my wardrobe because a tweed black skirt with this gorgeous little chain belt, especially with these little details here, I think is so easy to style and will just make any outfit look super luxe. This, even with a white t-shirt, looks so much better than like a white t-shirt and denim shorts. Well, not better, but more stylish, I think I would say. And as for this red top, I mean, it is so much fun. It's quite a party top, to be honest. This could be a party look, or you could pair it with a skirt as well, and it would just be so fun and festive. So I think that this might be the outfit that I am wearing for Christmas, but as I keep saying, you could wear this all year round. This top especially would be really good for New Year's since it is so fun and festive. If you're going out dancing somewhere, it'll be so much fun. And I just love Shein's take on a plain red bodysuit by adding this to it. They are really good at making some super cute and unique items because I don't know about you guys, but I definitely haven't seen a bodysuit like this before. And if you show up to somewhere with this I can guarantee you no one else will have it so I'm really happy with this outfit I think it's super cute even with the surprise of this being a skirt and not a pair of shorts I still love it all right this next outfit is super girly and was actually scream queens inspired I know scream queens ended a long time ago but I really loved that show and I just loved their style so 
much. So when I saw these two items on Shein, I knew that they would look gorgeous together. So in this first little bag, there is this gorgeous little pink crop top. So it is just a ribbed cotton material, which usually I'm not the biggest fan of. I really just don't like ribbed material because so often it is see-through and I just, I really have a pet hate for ribbed material. So gonna be honest, I don't really like that, but I mean, it's fine. It's not the worst in the world. It's just something I don't particularly like, but I do love the pink feathers on top here. These actually aren't attached well at all. That's, as you guys can see, there's a hole here where it just hasn't been attached well, and that continues over the whole top. They've only sewn it down in certain spots, which really isn't good because it means that that feather is going to fall off really easily, which we don't love. So I was pretty much sold on this item. I actually had it in all three colors in my cart, but then I saw this skirt and I was like, delete all the other colors. We are only getting one of these tops and we are pairing it with this beautiful skirt. So let's hope this skirt is just as beautiful in person as it looked in the photo. Oh, you guys, I love it. This is what it looks like. Oh, I am obsessed. So it's this cute little mini skirt that has this little cut on the front here. This is really on trend. I know it seems so simple, but having a little cut in your skirt right now is so on trend. It's what all the major fashion labels have been doing. So when I saw that, I was like, yes, we love that. We love being on trend accidentally. So this skirt is just beautiful and I think matched with this top. It's just going to be such a stunning outfit. So let's go try them on and see if I look like the extra cast member of Scream Queens. This is what the super girly Scream Queens-esque outfit looks like on and I am seriously in love with it. So this is the front and this is the back and I just think that this is stunning. When buying outfits online that are too, like, you know, sold separately and trying to pair them together, it's always a risk, you know? Like, I'm always kind of like, is that going to look good in person? Is it not? Especially when it's the same color, like this top is pink and the skirt is pink. Trying to pair that together, I'm always like, is it gonna work though? Is it? But in this case, thank goodness it did. So, as I said when unboxing it, this top isn't the best quality, but I really don't think it's noticeable at all once it's on. Now that I have it on, I think it looks super cute and I seriously cannot wait to wear it, which just goes to show that sometimes you really need to try the outfits on it before you make your decision. I'm also super happy that the skirt fits well. I was a little bit concerned that it wasn't going to just because it looked a little bit big, but luckily it fits perfectly. Even the slit doesn't go up too high because as I said, this is really on trend right now, this little cutout slit, but sometimes it can go up way too high and just not be wearable pretty much, but I'm happy to report that this is still wearable. And I just love this outfit. Isn't it just so cute and so girly? Oh, I love it. The perfect shopping outfit in my opinion. The next outfit that I bought is all black. First of all, I bought this skirt right here that I have truly been looking forward to for so long because it is just a plain pleather black skirt. But down the bottom here, it has some lace, which will just, again, elevate any outfit. It's literally just like, you know, you have a black skirt and it's like, cool, that's cute, whatever. You have the lace and it's like, oh, she's stylish. You know what I mean? So I have really been looking forward to this. The pleather material, not the best. Definitely really, really cheap material. It's got the pleather on the outside and they haven't lined it with anything on the inside. Meaning if you live in a hot climate like myself, that is going to stick to you and be kind of uncomfortable to wear. So that kind of sucks. But again, I think it's because it was such a cheap price. That's why it's, you know, not the best. But yeah, that's not great. And also they haven't sewn down the inside part. So that can easily flop up, which won't look good at all. But I mean, it'll be okay to wear, but it's just kind of disappointing that the quality isn't there. But this was honestly going to become a staple in my wardrobe because just going to be an easy piece that'll go with everything. But the items that I actually bought to wear with it are this top right here, which looks super confusing, but if I roll it down, maybe it'll look a little more obvious is what it is. It is a little off the shoulder mesh top. So it's just this simple cotton top that has this mesh sewn it to the top. And when you wear it, I mean, it really doesn't look good right here, but I think once I put it on, it'll look super like high end haute couture, but it wasn't, it was from Shein, which we love. So again, the quality on this isn't great. This top is really gonna become see-through very easily. It's not right now, but after a few washes, 
It will because it's such cheap material and this mesh, it's gonna rip really easily because I've just used a cheap, cheap like tool material and only one layer which will mean that unfortunately it's gonna rip super easy so you just have to be really careful when wearing this but it does look like the photo and I am super excited to see how it looks on but I don't know this outfit is kind of really poor quality I'm really disappointed in that let's just go put it on and see what we think because maybe it won't look super cheap when it's on this is what the black outfit looks like on so this is the front and this is the back and this top is super confusing in the photo which I'll put on the screen now it shows that they kind of have the top like one shoulder going down to the other and it looks super cute but in real life that just doesn't work I don't know it's just not very practical and I don't think it looks as good so I think I'd probably wear it kind of off the shoulder like that there we go that way it still has the mesh effect but it doesn't look so awkward but I do like the top I just unfortunately don't think the way that they've styled it works in real life but I love the top and this skirt I love so much I know I said it's really cheap quality I mean I stand by that it is stuck to my legs right now it is really hot outside this is stuck to me but I love the little lace detail I really think it just adds to this outfit and especially these two different materials going on I think it really makes this outfit look super cute this top I don't know, it's kind of irritating. <laughs> the longer I wear it and the more this mesh like moves around like that or like that or like that, it just irritates me. And I just don't think this was made very well in the way that like for a human to wear. It looks gorgeous on the model, but when you're a human that like has arms and is moving around, it just doesn't really work as you can see here. So I don't know, this top I'm not the biggest fan of, but I think overall it's a fairly cute outfit. Next up, we have another Christmas outfit. It is a a red dress that's hopefully beautiful with a little accessory. So, as I said earlier, unfortunately when this video goes up it will be too late to get an outfit for Christmas, but a red dress is such a statement piece. Red seriously suits anyone, any skin tones. I've never seen red look bad on anybody. So I think it's quite a power color. Well, I mean, it is quite a power color. There's literally research behind it saying that it's a power color and grabs people's attention. So when I saw this dress, I thought that it was perfect for Christmas, but also perfect year round. If you're going to an event or somewhere where you just want to stand out but look powerful, this is the color for you. So this is the dress. Oh, I'm kind of not impressed with this one. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So it's this red satin dress that is meant to be uh, tight fitting. Doesn't look like it will be. And super cute. So this is kind of like styled off Selena Gomez's iconic red dress. And see, she wasn't wearing that for Christmas. She was just wearing that to an event. And she looked stunning. So this dress is kind of based off that. But I am concerned because it looks to be quite big. This is meant to be quite snug fitting. And it doesn't look like it's going to be like that on me. Which sucks. I was really looking forward to this dress. It is a nice material. They have double lined this satin. And it's really nicely made. Just looks to be quite big unfortunately. So I really hope that it isn't. Because this would be great for going out. Clubbing. All things like that. And then to go with that dress. I thought that it needed a belt. So the belt that I purchased was this one. Ah, I love it. So it's a pearl belt that has this gorgeous little gold pearl detail on the front. Quite vintage and teak-ish. I could definitely see my Nana owning something like this, but I love that. I love that style. And I just thought it would really tie the dress together and make it look super classy. But if you're planning on going out clubbing, I probably wouldn't wear this pearl belt. I'd probably wear like a gold chain one instead because that'll just make it look more street style, you know? So I am nervous to try this dress on. I'm really upset that it looks big. I hope that it's not big when I put it on, but we will just have to see. Here we have the red dress on, and to be honest, it actually doesn't look as bad as I expected it to. So this is the front and of course the back. And as you can see, I mean, I think you can still tell that it's quite baggy on me. I think the belt was a great idea because it really makes it cinch in a little and make it fit a bit better. But if I take this belt off, I think it really shows how big this dress is on me. I've had to adjust the straps right to the very front because it's just too big, which is really unfortunate because I ordered this in my size, the same size as all the other clothes, and they have all fit perfectly so far. So I definitely think this is disappointing and I think that I'm gonna unfortunately have to send this one back. But I mean, it's not horrible. It's just not what I expected, you know? I expected a gorgeous, 
tight dress just like the one on the model and that just isn't what this dress is unfortunately I do however love this belt I think it's so beautiful and will go with so many outfits because a little pearly belt is just gonna make my outfits look so classy and I am living for it I love pearls so much and I just think a belt is a great little detail all right we are on to the lucky last item and as I have said in my past couple of videos as the year has gone on my style has gotten exceedingly girly I mean I've always been super girly but lately I have been going back to my roots and getting even girlier and I think that this dress if it looks good will be the girliest purchase I have made in 2019 because not only is it pink and lace it is also super long well not super long super long for me who always wears short dresses I so I really hope that this looks gorgeous because I mean I really want to wear it so this is the dress first of all this is what the top looks like it has the gorgeous mesh detailing and then as we go down it is quite a long dress that has just got this pink material on the inside that honestly not very good quality at all and then is covered in some pink lace so this is either going to look beautiful on or it's going to look really cheap which is my worry because it definitely hasn't been made with the nicest materials again it was cheap so I understand that it's not gonna be amazing materials hopefully it doesn't look too cheap on because it also comes with this pink bow to go around the center and I mean I love these sort of bows because I'll put them in my hair I'll wear them as a necklace I love these I just really hope that this looks good on because I've really been looking forward to this and I was very much inspired by the nutcracker and kind of like Gabby Martino. I've been binging her vlogs lately and that was what inspired me to buy this dress I just really hope that it doesn't look cheap on because I would love to wear this out and about going shopping maybe to a high tea I've never been to a high tea because they are rarely gluten free but you know we can hopefully find one so let's just go try this on the anticipation is killing me let's go try it on and hope that it doesn't look cheap all right this is what the dress looks like on and before I give you guys my opinion this is what the front looks like and this is the back and I don't know. I first of all think that it actually doesn't look cheap on at all. That's what I was worried about when I pulled it out of the packaging, but now that it's on, I really don't think that that's an issue at all. But I just don't know about this. I think it's so out of my usual style that I don't know if I'm ever going to actually wear it. Do you, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's cute or do you think it just looks super weird on me? Because sometimes I think pink can look a little bit too little kitty-ish and I kind of worry that that's what this looks like. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a beautiful dress and definitely very Nutcracker-esque, but I just don't know if it's me. I don't feel very confident in this, which is so silly because it's like showing less of my skin than most of these outfits, yet I feel the least confident in this one. So it's definitely super girly and doesn't look cheap on at all. So if this is your style, I'm sure you will love it. I just don't think that it's my style. I tried something new and I didn't love it and that's a okay. This is how we grow in style, people, by trying different things. And with that, that is the end of my Shein haul and the end of my last video for 2019. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Overall, I think that Shein is still quite hit or miss. Some of these items are amazing and I can't wait to wear, but others are a little bit poor quality, which sucks. But nonetheless, I am really happy with the majority of these items. So thank you guys so much for sticking around this year. I've had so much fun at making all of this fun content for you guys. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel because that's where I'm going to be uploading my what I got for Christmas videos, my um, best and worst purchases of 2019, all fun stuff like that. So I'll be sure to link that down below. And that is the end of today's video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Thank you so much for another amazing year. I truly, truly love you all. And I hope you have an amazing Christmas, an amazing new year. And I just love you all. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.